Shalom Aleichem and welcome to Machin Lahaira online smicha. As we're getting closer to the day of Rosh Chodesh Tammuz, which is a couple of days before the Yom Abar Gimel Tammuz, Bashkacha Pratis, in one of my chavrusas that I learned with a good friend, we learned Gemara Sanhedrin. There are a couple of gemar, a couple of uh, Gemaras that we came across lately that I think I would like to share with you. And uh, perhaps there is a Ira and Avodah Hashem that is very much connected to Chav Ches Sivan, which is the day the Rebbe came to America and started his uh, spreading of Yiddishkeit through Amer- throughout America. And of course, what Gimel Tamuz means to every, sh- every Chassid, every Jew, the Rebbe sent Shluchim throughout the world. There, is a, there are two questions that come up when you think about sending young couples, sending people out shlichus anywhere, and there is no necessarily minion, no uh, education, and the, the couples go literally on Messir Snuffish and create a whole new atmosphere. And the question is, the achrayis is very great, and the, the challenges and the serious for the people coming out there, going out there is, is, is enormous. Uh, how do we know we're going to be successful? And the fact is that you do see that the shluchim do a tremendous, uh, tremendous work. They, they themselves grow in their Yiddishkeit. And of course, because they themselves grow in the Yiddishkeit, they are able to influence others and they, they do nisim in the place. And this, this, this is a question because usually when people are under pressure, under financial pressure, stress of uh, a new a new country, new living, uh, we know that pressure is never good for success. And there's actually a Maimar Chazal that's in Gemara Sanhedrin Daf Yud Zayin, Ahmed Aleph, where the Gemara speaks about last week's Parsha, Parsha's, um, Parsha's Baal Leitzcha. And in Parsha's Baal Leitzcha, uh, we find that the Eldad Umeidad were Misnabim B'machna, they were saying Navua. So Yeshua couldn't, he couldn't tolerate what they were doing. So Yeshua turns to Moshe Rabbeinu and says, Adoni Moshe Kloim, Master, Rabbi Moshe, please get rid of them, stop them. So the Gemara in Avedazar, the Gemara in Masech Sanhedrin Daf Yud Zayin Amid Aleph says, what does it mean, Adoni Moshe Kloim? Says, says the Gemara, my uh, Adoni Moshe Kloim. And for the Gemara, El Amalei Hatel Aleim Tzor Chetzibur Vehem Kolim Me Aleim El Dadu Meidad were prophesizing and they kept on saying Nevua. Yeshua didn't want to hear their Nevua, so Moshe Rabbeinu says. So Yeshua says to Moshe, "Give them Hatel Aleim Tzor Chetzibur. Make them, give them positions of community matters, and you'll see they'll stop making Nevua. They'll start stop prophesizing. What's the connection? Connection." So Toysfus clearly says that when you give them a position of leadership, nevuah some color, they will stop having nevuah. Why? Because ein shechina shayra mitoich atzvus. Shechina, the shechina doesn't come down, doesn't dwell on a person when a person is depressed. Ella mitoich simcha, only when he's happy. And usually a community leader has so many, so many issues, so many questions, so many problems, he's not happy. And this is funny. Because when you look around to all the shluchim that the Rebbe sends, and they are, they have all these community issues, and they're happy, they're proud. How does it st- how does it fit with this Gemara that a tzarchei tzibur person is usually walking around b'teich atzvus? And for this, the answer seems to be pretty simple. The answer seems to be why was Yeshua, why was Yeshua so adamant that Moshe Rabbeinu should stop them from saying nevua? So the Gemara says, because what they were saying is Moshe Meis, Yeshua Machnus, that Moshe Rabbeinu is passing away, and Yeshua is taking him over, and he will lead the Jewish people into Eretz Yisrael. And Yeshua couldn't hear that. Yeshua couldn't believe that his Rebbe is passing away. He didn't want to hear that Nevoah. So he said, stop them. So for who, for what type of leader is their movement, is their action a, dep- uh, a source of depression, a source of atzvus? 
only a, a, a leader, a Isaac Matar Chitzuber, that feels he's on his own because Adoni Moshe Mace. But if, however, a person lives with Adoni Moshe Chai, a person lives that I'm not there alone, the Meshalea who sent me, the Rebbe who sent me, is alive and well spiritually, he's giving me Chayas. Then, despite the fact that he has all the issues of Tarek Tzibur, he doesn't lose his zest, he doesn't lose his happiness, and he could be full of chayas. So, only because only one who runs around as if he's the Aniva Aniva Afsi Oid, it's me, it's me, it's me. Then things when have when when a curveball sent to you, you have an issue. But if you know you're going bekoyach and mashaleach, then even the even if you're a Isaac B'Tarek Tzibur, you're able to be happy. Now. What, back to the Maraglim, one of the most fascinating Hezbeirim of how the Maraglim, why the Maraglim came back and said the report about the base, about the Eretz Yisrael, and they said, no, nah, we're not going in. Chassidus talks about it, but one of the beautiful interpretations is that they knew that Moshe Rabbeinu is not bringing them into Eretz Yisrael. They knew that Yeshua is, is the one that's bringing in. And the Maraglim didn't want to lose a day being with Moshe Rabbeinu. So they they fadreit and fadreit, and they knew that they are that everybody here has to die out. They have to be in the midbar for forty more years until this. Anybody between twenty and sixty dies out, and they knew that if they would say the truth, they would go into Eretz Yisrael right away. But they would go in without Moshe Rabbeinu. They were willing to fadreit the whole thing to be and 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 make it a wrong report just to have another couple of years with Moshe Rabbeinu. That shows the connection that the Maraglam had with, with the Moshe Rabbeinu. There's a Gemara a couple of daffim further. The Gemara speaks in, in the next Perik in Sanhedrin, in Perik Koen Gadol, Daf Yud Hesimad Aleph, there's a machlekes between Rameir and Rabbi Yehuda. How does a Koen Gadol, a Koen Gadol obviously have, has a higher level of a Kedusha than a regular person, does he, is he Menachem, does he comfort Avelim the same way like others? Or, or he shouldn't hang out with the crowd, He's a, he should be a little more aloof. So the Gemara, ta, the Mishnah Taka says that one opinion says that the Kohen Gadol doesn't go with the crowd. When the crowd is Menachem, they are up front. When the crowd is hidden, the Kohen Gadol comes and he is Menachem. But he doesn't walk with the crowd, he doesn't mingle with the crowd, he's supposed to be uh, aloof, a little higher. Rabbi Yehuda says, no, no, no. Rabbi Yehuda in Daf Yutes says that a Kohen Gadol doesn't go out at all. What's this Svaras and Machlekes? So the Gemara says, there is a Pasuk. Rabbi Yehuda says, about the Kohen Gadol, it says, Umin HaMikdash He shouldn't leave the base of Mikdash. So Rabbi Yehuda learns this Pasuk literally. Do not, a Kohen Gadol does not leave the base of Mikdash for anything. What's the Rabbi, that's, what's Rabbi Meir's how, uh, then, Rameir says, excuse me, it doesn't mean he doesn't leave at all, because the fact is he is allowed to go home. It means, Mikdu the Kohen Gadol, when he goes out, should make sure he still stays with the Kedusha, his level of Kedusha. So if he has to be Menachem Avo, he's allowed to. But don't go too cro- close to the Tuma, don't go too close to the Aran, because you might become Tambe. So he stands further away. He has, to, he has to keep himself more guarded, more protective boundaries of not becoming tummy. When I'm reading this Gemara, I'm thinking this is exactly the shlichus of the Rebbe sends. The Rebbe sends people who have spent all their years in yeshiva, younger light who have eingezap with Torah Yerushimayim, he says, go away, go far away. But as far as you go, remember that not like Rabbi Yehuda, um min ha-mikdash Minamikdash Yetze means stay in Williamsburg, stay in Borough Park. Umikdushasayleyetze, go far away. But wherever you go, make sure to be strong and proud and vibrant of what your Kedusha is all about. And over there, stand strong with your Kedusha. Don't minimize on your level of Kedusha and Tara and Chsidis. And by that, and by that, not only you go, you're allowed to go, but you have a tremendous effect and you're Menachem Acherim and you uplift everybody.